Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing and kind of a bit of a review for you all. I'm currently filming this on my phone right now, and yes, I'm unboxing this on my bed. Uh, I just got a case that I had ordered in the mail for my MacBook Pro. It was on eBay for like $10. The pictures looked really good, so I'm a little bit disappointed right now. Uh, I guess that's what I get for ordering a case off of eBay though. If you have not watched my unboxing for the MacBook Pro, then you should go ahead and go back in there and do that. The description on this case was uh, a rubberized hard case that it comes with a um, keyboard protection sleeve. And I didn't know this. I don't even know if you can see this. But right here you can see where it came with a screen protector for the MacBook and a cleaning cloth. I will show you some close-ups of this once I get it open and you can decide for yourself if you think it's good or bad. I'm kind of leaning toward the fact that it might be bad. I love pulling the plastic off of stuff. I wish I just had a job where all I did was open up plastic. Okay, so the shit's open. As you can clearly see, this is transparent, and it's not as bad as I thought. This is obviously the top of the case. It does not have any logos on it at all, which I like that. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little bit of a give to it. It's not just hard plastic, which the description did say rubberized hard plastic, which is good. That's what I wanted. Um, it feels almost like a matte finish, which I also wanted that because I didn't want it to be a slippery case if I was holding my MacBook. So that's good. That's what I wanted also. So I'm going to move over here and show you the bottom of the case, which you can already see my fingerprint on the bottom of the case. So I don't know how well that's going to go down with me. We'll see. Because I bought a case so that I don't have to clean my MacBook constantly. So now, I, I mean, I don't want to constantly clean the case and get the fingerprints off of it. You've got your vents down here. You've got two sets of vents. That way your MacBook doesn't get too hot. It also came with a thin rubber protective cover for the, the keypad. And also, it has a screen protector and a cleaning cloth, like I said. I'm going to put this case... On my MacBook, I'm not going to put the screen protector on yet, and I'm going to get a really good close-up so that you guys can see what you're buying, what it looks like on your MacBook, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so the case is on, and I think I like it. It's got a good grip to it. It was not too tight when I put it on, and it's not too loose. Uh, it'll easily come off without scratching your MacBook, but it won't come off too easy if you're holding it. It fits like a freaking glove. I'm really surprised by this. You can see the attachments from where it hooks on to the front, or the top and the bottom of the laptop. The back ventilation where the vent is, is completely open, so that's not obstructed in any way. You can see that the case does not cover any of the ports, you can easily see everything, even the microphone output, or microphone input, and everything else is pretty much covered. And you can see on the same side, it's pretty much exactly the same way. Now, one thing I will tell you, it's a, just a little tip for when you're ordering a case. Do you see the small print writing right here? You can't see it with the case on it but when you are ordering a case look on the back of your macbook and about right here you'll have a number mine is the newest macbook model so the model number on it is a1502 you need to type that in when you look for your case uh, make sure that is compatible with that model number or your case will not fit when you get it now I am going to open this thing up and show you because I put the cover, keypad cover, over it. Um, it does 
look a little bit like, I mean, I like it. It's going to protect my keypad just fine, but it almost, I don't know if it's the angle that I'm looking at, and this is really bad lighting, but you can see it almost looks like a couple of the keypad or buttons on the keypad uh, look a little bit miscut. I don't know if that is normal, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. I might end up ordering another one. The screen protector, this is probably going to be a big ordeal and piss me off, so I might not even attempt to put that on yet. I haven't decided. <laughs> but when I got this case in the mail, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it at all. But, I mean, it fits really nice, and I think I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'm going to order another one. Originally... I had <laughs> planned for this to be a negative review, and now that I have got the case on, it's not bad. It's kind of snazzy. So if you like this case, I will put a link in the description for you to get it. It was only like $10.25 plus free shipping, and it came with the keyboard cover, and it came with a screen protector and cleaning cloth. So if you are interested in ordering, ordering that for your MacBook, you can go on and pick your model number, pick the color that you want, and they will mail it to your house. Uh, that's all I have for this today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I like doing these unboxings for you all. If you have any questions or uh, anything you want to know, just put a question in the comments below. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate every one of you watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.